Hey, this is Chris Miller with Trail Life Retrievers. Bumper and I are out here on a hike, and um, you know, I've been thinking about this question for the last couple days, and, and it's a question we probably all ask ourselves from time to time, and it's, you know, who am I? And every time I ask myself that question, I start to look at, you know, what are my strengths, and what are my weaknesses, and, and what is it that I like to do? And I, I see these different paths in front of me, and I'm trying to figure out which direction should I take my life in. And... And it's probably the wrong question to be asking. And so I want to take us to Romans chapter 1, verse 1, where Paul's you know, addressing the Roman church. And he starts his letter out by saying, Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle, set apart for the gospel of God. And when you read that, you think, well, Paul's just saying you know, who he is. Well, he's actually saying whose he is. He's saying, I am Paul, and I am a servant of Christ Jesus. Therefore, I'm giving him entire reign to do with my life or whatever it is that he wants to do with it and so when we start to analyze our life and we start to look at our lives instead of asking the question you know who am I we should ask the question whose am I and so let's take Bumper here for example you know Bumper's been born with certain abilities and, and certain um, physical characteristics that allows him to be successful at some of the things that he's been trained to do so let's take waterfowl hunting for for instance, you know, duck season takes place in the middle of winter, so it's usually cold, and it's it's usually snowy, and we're usually hunting around water, so he's got to be able to work and hunt in those environments, and so he's got to have certain abilities and certain characteristics that will allow him to do that, and so for instance, you know, Bumper's got webbed feet, so he can, it helps him to swim, you know, his coat is made up of of two layers. He's got an inner coat which is made up of real thick, dense fur which keeps him warm and dry. And his outer coat is made up of these longer hollow hairs which helps him to float. You know, he's got a good nose. He loves to retrieve. It's one of his favorite things to do. You know, he's pretty athletic. So if he's got to go through mud or he's got to, you know, jump over a log or he's got to swim a long distance, he can because he's pretty athletic. So he's got those abilities um, to do some of those things but at the same time you know Bumper could have been a, a therapy dog because of his disposition or he could have been a search and rescue dog or, or a drug detection dog because of his nose but it was up to me his master and his leader to teach him to do the things that I wanted him to do and so when I look at my own life it's so easy for me to look at look at what I think my strengths are I look at the things that I like to do and I say well I'm just going to go do that and, and do it on my own instead of instead of seeking you know the counsel of the Lord or, or instead of having the Lord um, leading me and guiding me in what he wants me to do and so you know it makes me think of Psalms chapter 25 where David's kind of talking about the same thing and there's just a couple things I want to point out in that passage that we can apply to this um, in the first two verses he says Lord I turn my hope to you my God I trust in you do not let me be disgraced. Do not let my enemies gloat over me. So what he's saying there right away is, you know, Lord, you know, I trust you. And I trust you with my life. I, tr I trust you with my salvation. And I trust you with, with what you are going to and what you want to do with me here. And then if you skip down to verses 4 and 5, he says, Make me to know your ways. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. I wait for you all the day long. And so he's saying, you, you know, Lord, I know you've given me certain strengths, and I know you've given me certain abilities, and I know you've given me certain weaknesses, and I know that you've made me to enjoy doing certain things. And so make me to know your ways. You know, teach me how to use the gifts and the talents that you've given me. And so I think when we, when we start to to look at our lives we start to analyze our lives instead of asking the question you know who am I we should ask the question whose am I and that'll 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 prompt us to say you know Lord I know you've created me I know you've made me a certain way and so please take my life I'm asking you take my life and show me what it is that you want to do with me